Well, tonight, Pope Francis is in the United States for the first time. The Holy Father landed at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland just about 90 minutes ago. About a week after Francis was named Pope, a Rhode Island family had an extraordinary experience at the Vatican. The Pope embraced their son, Dominic, who has cerebral palsy. Paul Burton spoke with the family about a day they say they will never forget. I saw Pope Francis lifting up my son and embracing him. And, you know, we were moved to tears. We couldn't, we were in total shock and disbelief. It was an image that flashed around the globe. Pope Francis embracing and kissing Dominic Gondro, the then eight-year-old boy with cerebral palsy. This became, I think, an iconic embrace because we saw what Pope Francis meant by the fringes, the marginalized, and, and the simple human gesture. I think that's what people identify with. Dominic's dad, Paul Gundro, who is a professor of theology at Providence College, says he will never forget that moment two years ago on Easter Sunday at St. Peter's Square. Pope Francis had only been elected pope about a week and a half before. So the world was still getting to know who this man is. Dominic was born three and a half months premature and has severe cerebral palsy. Just to move his arms is a huge task. In a crowd of a quarter million with the whole world watching, to put his arm around the pope and embrace him, this was nothing short of a miracle. Although the Gundrew family does not plan to see the Pope this time around when he visits the U.S., he encourages others to experience it. There's really nothing like it. To be part of that crowd, to feel the energy and the excitement, to, you know, to be drawn to this person. An unforgettable moment that will last him a lifetime. You see, I have always felt since that embrace happened that, in a sense, my son was representing all people with disabilities or with special needs. In Providence, on Paul Burton, WBZ News. Well, tonight at 6 o'clock, a seminarian from Waltham gets ready to take his place at the papal altar. And Washington, D.C.'s Archbishop tells Paula how he prepared for the Pope's visit. That's coming up on WBZ News at 6 o'clock. You know, a lot has been said about the Pope keeping a really rigorous schedule while he's here in the U.S. It's going to be one unscripted moment like the one we just saw I think so. that everyone will remember. Right. Just mm -hmm. touching and very personal. Well, a